with the chicken going down, down, down. With the chicken gonna lay, lay, lay. With the chicken on the corn. Square and I've got Brubeck. Woo! Did you guys go off with a bang? You should have seen the well, moshing. We were working on it. You were working on we it? We were working on it. Fabulous. And so I'm just going to ask you what your names are and what you do in the band. Um, I'm Dave. I play the bass. I'm Paul and I sing and play guitar. And I'm Sarah and I play guitar really fast. I'm James, not drum. Yeah. What about that, eh? And yeah, pretty good vibe out there. Heaps of people up the front, eh? We mainly do all eight shows. Predominantly, we try to support youth culture. Just because uh, the crowds are the best. And, um, and the, yeah, the, the crowds go hard. And uh, there's nothing to do for people under 18 and 20 in New Zealand. It's a, it's a pretty conservative country, so... Um, and, and realistically, the youth aren't that conservative and they want something and we, we sort of represent what they're trying to, the environment they're trying to have. Are you kind of being their voice as well? I know some music's no, quite heavy. No, but we don't speak for nobody. Who writes the lyrics? Me, predominantly. Dave, Dave does a few. Obviously, Paul doesn't have very good grammar, so we try and, yeah. we try and have them just less as possible. <laughs> and as I, you know, I've just learned how to speak last week. Congratulations, we're very happy for it you because now you can do that. We used to run the country last week. Nice. And My real name's Romano. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard rumours. <laughs> We're releasing an album which is coming out in about a month and a half awesome. on an independent label which is our own or we've got some, some record deals waiting there, we'll just see what happens. Um, <laughs> but we want to do it ourselves predominantly because that's what we've always done, we've always done our own work and um, there's not, hasn't been a lot of press for this sort of underground music in, in New Zealand so we've just done it ourselves but it's really good to see like today the support um, for underground music and independent music. Um, it's just really warming to see in this country. That's awesome. So you're saying underground. Do you find that there's um, not a lot of support for your music or, um, or funding? Not a lot of press. Not a lot of press. And um, it's pretty much just word of mouth. Pretty much a word of mouth scene. I don't, I don't know if people in New Zealand aren't really used to like um, sort of really fast punk rock bands. Like, I mean, you see this sort of thing. People aren't really... People sort of expect um, more of a sort of a rock thing to happen. They come along and see us and they sort of freak out a bit, you know, so it's... It's all good. Yeah, well, basically it's a lot easier if you can play music that gets on the radio, you know, and gets to so many more people, so. So it's more commercial music that you find gets played here. Yeah. Is there any funding bands can get in the country at all? Yeah. Is there any funding you guys can get for your band at all through the government or anything? Um, th there is, but it's a catch-22. It's like you need representation from some sort of major to, to approach. You can go independently to, to places like New Zealand on air, but most of the people who get grants in New Zealand are people like uh, Dave Dobbin, and this is the total truth, who is already hooked up. We should be, that money should be channeled into um, new, upcoming, fresh acts, and so, so the, the music industry expands and grows instead of um, it's just... Getting it's, it's getting, getting maybe, better. It's getting better. It's changing. Less conservative people on it, on the, you know, doing yeah. the, giving the grants. They have fast music and they're like, oh, it's thrash metal or something. And, they, you know, and it, in reality, punk rock's becoming huge, you know. You look at Blink-182 and people like that. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's only a matter of time before everyone's used to listening to this sort of stuff, you know. Well, you seem pretty dedicated. Is that what you do full-time? 
Are you all full time in the we band? We all work as well. We all work and, and, um, oh, and play. Yeah, apart from me. He goes to school. Yeah, I go to school. You're a school boy. Yeah, I'm a school for boy. a 17 year old. Nick. What school do you go to? Upper Hutt College. You're doing you're so good. well. College punk rock. <laughs> awesome. So you seem like a pretty young band, am I right in saying that? Uh, we're, all really um, we're all 24. 2025. Jimmy. Jimmy's, the young one. Jimmy's the young one. 17. We, we, we like to think we're young. We don't want to grow old too quick. We look young. You know? like I'm just, we dress like 16 year olds. <laughs> I'm just trying to compliment you. I'm <laughs> just trying my damnedest. Thank you so much, Brubeck. And so good much. luck in the future. Cheers. See what we can do with Candle Z. Export gold, bands in the square. <laughs>